Start the set review. Uh, I just have to say, guys, this is a pretty large and time consuming set because there are a lot of technical pieces, but um, for for the set of this size, but um, it definitely is worth it because it's so so cool. Um, let's get into the characters starting with the good guys, Ray. So, Ray has front prints and back prints, she has her hairstyle there as well. And then um, she has her lightsaber. Then we also have BB-8, which I think I have two now from two sets. Um, yeah, so he's got the normal BB-8 prints here and there. Now let's move on to the Sith. I actually have never had a um, a jet pilot. I'm pretty sure. Let me check to make sure I'm not messing that up. Yeah, the first order. No, yeah, the first order jet trooper, which is right here. So he has this super cool pack that you add with two pieces. Put this out and put this back in. It's, it's just a lot of detail. The helmets, oh my god, just look at that. Look how much like tiny little details are on that. So it's really, really, really cool. And um, yeah, it, it just brings the whole set together and it's really enjoyable. He does have front prints and back prints, but it's kind of hidden up by the um, pack on his back. Again, but still really, really cool. Next we have the First Order Tread, 
Um, tried the speeder driver here. He doesn't look that much different, but I think he does have a little bit different attire, I think. And then he has his pistol. So those are the characters. Let's move on to the actual set. So here's the, tr the um, first order tread speeder here. It's pretty big. Um, it, it's called the tread speeder, obviously, because of these treads here that it goes across the sand. You have uh, stud blasters here, but you also have these, um, I just broke it, these moving glass. I broke it, moving blasters here and here. You got a cockpit here. It kind of reminds me of the Ninjago um, uh, from the hunting season, Killo. His bike, almost, a new version of that. But yes, this is the tread shooter. Lots of cool detail. I love how they use this. This shade of blue is always so cool, especially with the Imperial troops. Um, before we go into Ray's uh, speeder, let's go into this tiny portion of the city. I think it's a tiny hut, like a trading hut almost. You have this box here, which I believe comes in handy eventually. We will need that. Yeah. Okay, so you have these four poles here with the two boxes and then the flag on the top. Again, the, the, this set is, has a lot of tiny, tiny details in between, which um, really adds to like, a cool, cool little, uh, not even little, pretty medium sized set. And then let's get into Ray's speeder. Ray's speeder is decently huge. I actually have Anakin's. Starfighter here and Ray and Anakin Starfighter are pretty much the same size. So it's a considerably larger model here. Um Ray does sit here, I believe. Yes, on the cockpit right here. And uh if you just look at it, there's so many cool things. We have this I believe this is a booster here. You have the flags going up, you have this flag over here, you have this I think this is a, either a gun or a control panel. And then these, underneath here, you see these wires that you actually curl to make the shape. It's just phenomenal um, how insanely detailed this set is. Um, yeah, it's just super, super cool. And I would 100% suggest this because I don't believe this is a very expensive set either. I think around 20 or $30. But this is... For, a, for any kid, this is a good set, old or young. Definitely a very, very cool and detailed set. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video, and um, subscribe to see more of these LEGO Star Wars reviews or any set review that we have on this channel in general. Leave a like if you enjoyed this, and comment if you think that we should change something up a bit. We are always open to this to advice. Thank you, and hope to see you in a future episode.